Hello. Welcome to All A Plus Essays. The best among the best. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Pride and Prejudice Essay. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay for as little as $10 a page at All A Plus Essays. The link is in the description. 1. What is the decisive moment that causes Lizzie to not only change her mind about Mr. Darcy but fall in love? The decisive moment that causes Lizzie, Elizabeth, to not only change her mind about Mr. Darcy but also fall in love with him took place during her visit to Mr. Colin unregistered trademark S. home on the Rosings Park estate which is the family estate of Darcy. On the three occasions that Elizabeth and Darcy meet during this period, Lizzie was exposed to certain truths about Darcy that made her change her mind. First, Darcy unregistered trademark S proposal of marriage completely took her off guard. Although she refused his proposal, Lizzie was nonetheless impressed and flattered by the fact that Darcy had loved her all these months. Second, the letter that Darcy gave Elizabeth cleared many of her misconceptions and prejudices. She understood from Darcy unregistered trademark S account why he had created a distance between Bingley and Jane, and about his own reasons for disliking Wickham. It was Darcy unregistered trademark S letter that helped her see the reality. He had doubted Bingley unregistered trademark S true feelings for Jane as he had seen his friend fall in love on several occasions before. Darcy did an unregistered trademark to want the Bennett family to feel disheartened by any adverse change in events. So before Jane could get too much involved with Bingley, Darcy thought it right to take Bingley away so that later she does an unregistered trademark T face a heartbreak. As far as Wickham is concerned, Elizabeth realized after reading Darcy unregistered trademark S letter that he had very genuine reason to despise Wickham. Wickham had tried to seduce Georgiana and tried to elope with her when she was just 15 years of age. No brother can tolerate such advancement towards one unregistered trademark S sister. Later in the novel, when Darcy helps Elizabeth in finding her sister Lydia who had eloped with Wickham, Lizzie came more close to Darcy romantically. 2. Pick two of the romantic poems studied by two different poets and compare how the romanticism compares to O Pride and Prejudice. Two of the greatest romantic poets in the history of English literature are P.B. Shelley and John Keats. Shelley unregistered trademark SOE to a Skylark? And Keats unregistered trademark OEO to Autumn? Are jewels that adorn high romanticism? Romanticism as reflected in these two poems speaks of the ideal versus the real, imagination, subjectivism, poetic creation, change versus constant, and many other traits of romanticism. Of all these traits, the most common quality between these two romantic poems and pride and prejudice is that of ideal versus real. The novel deals with the issue of marriage. Elizabeth and Darcy unregistered trademark S marriage is the ideal and perfect marriage amongst all the seven marriages shown in the novel. Their union shows that the ideal bond is between two people of equal standing. Physical appearance is not the right parameter to judge a person, as shown through the marriage of Wickham and Lydia, the most unsuccessful marriage in the novel. The series of events that lead Elizabeth and Darcy to analyze and study each other unregistered trademark S nature and personality eventually bring them closer. This is not a case of blind love and that is how all marriages should be. A marriage is successful only if it takes place between like-minded people. Idealism, an important trait into a Skylark unregistered trademark, can be found in the marriage between Darcy and Elizabeth. The optimism of O to Autumn unregistered trademark where Keith says that all we if winter comes can spring be far behind can be traced in pride and prejudice in the way Darcy and Elizabeth finally unite despite their initial prejudices. 3. How does the realism of O.E. Flaubert go against the romanticism of both Austen and the poets? Flaubert unregistered trademark as realism was in reaction to the high romanticism of late 18th and early 19th century in England. The realism that was practiced by Flaubert negated the idealism of romanticism. In the novel Madame Bovary Unregistered Trademark, Flaubert shows how the romantic notions of an ideal marriage in the mind of a countrywoman led to her downfall. Unlike the idealism that helped Elizabeth find her ideal suitor in Pride and Prejudice, 
in Madame Bovary the same idealism backfires. Thus, romanticism of Jane Austen, Keats, and Shelley do not hold true in case of Flaubert unregistered trademark as realism. 4. We covered both realistic and romantic artwork pick two pieces from each, to romantic and to realistic, and relate whether the, Bennett unregistered trademark as, Emma Bovary, or, Charles Bovary, would have this piece on their wall and why. Four pieces of art and three choices as to where to put them. No pavilion at Brighton. The Bennets would put a few silly unregistered trademark as Nightmare and Thomas Cole unregistered trademark as The Course of Empire, Desolation because both these artworks depict high romanticism. Both Mr. Bennett and Elizabeth are intellectual beings, who love to read classics. So they would prefer more imaginative artworks such as Nightmare and The Course of Empire, Desolation. Emma Bovary would prefer J.M. Millet unregistered trademark as the cleaners for in her young days she is full of romantic notions of love and marriage. Moreover she is a country girl, so the picture of cleaners working on the countryside farm would appeal to her. Charles Bovary represents the world in characteristics that is abhorred by Emma. He is unimaginative, unintelligent, stupid, and naive. He would probably put up a picture that is as realistic and mundane as Bonner unregistered trademark at the horse fair. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Pride and Prejudice essay as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay at all A plus essays for as little as little as $10. The link is in the description. See you next time.